Welcome back to Tutorial Tidbits. I'm Elizabeth St. Hilaire and this week I am going to bring you a lesson on using a new product. This is a chipboard stencil that is designed by me and created by the Moon and the Maker. They were announced this month for Earth Day because they're earth friendly being that they're made out of cardboard and they are exciting, very exciting for me because once I get this all covered with paint, I'm going to pull it apart and be able to glue it down into my collage work. So it's got dual duty. It's going to serve two functions. It's going to make great patterns on my gel plate and then it's going to make great glue-in material for my collage. So I've got a brand new envelope of these stencils since they were just launched this month and I wanted to share my experimenting with them with you. So if you've got a few minutes, let's go out to the garage studio and check out what we can do with these on the gel plate. Okay, so I am going to be working with the um, Planet Earth stencils on my gel plate. So the, um, the Planet Earth stencils are by the Moon and the Maker and they are chipboard stencils that are made out of paper and they are provided in paper envelopes. So they are very earth friendly. I am exploring this brand new product. I'm excited about it because when I worked with the prototypes, you can see that when the um, stencil gets covered with paint, it starts to take on some beautiful, colorful properties, and that is going to make some really great material for collage. Because these are chipboard, I can break out and tear out little pieces and sections of it to put into my collage work. So I'm really excited about printing with it and then gluing with it. I've got my gel press gel printing plate here um, i love this product more than any other for hand painting collage papers and i've got a hard rubber brayer um, so i'm going to be using my golden fluid acrylics uh, the color palette that i chose today is sort of earth uh, uh, nature kind of inspired so i've got teal manganese blue iridescent bronze Thalo blue green shade, iridescent gold, and green gold. So that's my sampling of colors that I'm going to play with. And I'm going to be using some recycled paper in celebration of Earth Day. This is from an old Art Nouveau book. It is all recycled and because it is an old book, the quality of paper is really rather nice because the paper um, at the time of the publication of this book was less recycled pulp and more pure pulp. So old books have beautiful paper in them and you can usually get them at your friends at the library sale for very inexpensive. Okay, so my favorite thing to do um, with stencils always is to start with a light color solid sheet. So I am going to open this paint because it is brand new and start with a light colored solid of teal so that we can build on that. So I'm going to put a few drops of fluid acrylic on the plate. I'm going to roll it out into a nice thin layer. And I'm going to print myself a solid sheet of teal. Now this is just where we're going to start. It's a new gel plate, so it's doing a little bit of blooming. That will go away when it gets a little worn. It's just because it's so brand new. It's a little bit of the oil um, coming out of the plate. So that's actually kind of a neat effect, but it will stop doing that eventually. So now I'm gonna do a little green gold on the other end. I'm starting with light colors so that I can build up to darker colors. So again, I'm rolling out my golden fluid acrylic, printing it on the other end of this sheet. Now that gives me a great place to start. So I'm gonna go on and make myself a few more light colored solids so I have paper to work with and then um, we will work on stencils. Okay, so now that I've made myself several light colored solid sheets, we are ready to do layers on top of these base layers. So, um, the first step is to go slightly darker than the color that you laid down and to get ready with some of these paper chipboard stencils. So I'm going to put out a manganese blue 
with a little bit of phthalo blue to make it just a bit darker so that it will go over my teal sheet. So I want it to be just a bit darker than the teal. So I'm gonna do manganese, a couple drops of phthalo, blend that together. Might need that to be a little bit darker. I'm gonna lay that in a thin layer on my gel press. And then I'm going to arrange into the paint a few of my stencils. And I'm going to now take this sheet and print. I'm gonna apply pressure with the palm of my hand to make sure the paper goes down in between all the cutout spaces in the stencil. I'll use the fingertips if I need to because this book page is a little bit on the thick side. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lift the corner and see if anywhere needs more pressure before I pull the paper off. I'm gonna check on all corners. Beautiful. And now I will remove the stencils and you'll see that they're getting some great color on them. We're gonna be careful with them because they're sort of sticking to the plate, it's just because the gel plate is new. But again, I've got now I've got some great color on my stencils. These will become beautiful collage material. Not right away, I'm gonna use them and abuse them for quite a while until they start to really show their wear and tear and then they'll have way more beautiful color. And then I will be able to put them in my paper stash and apply them to collage. So I'm gonna be careful with them and now, I've got this great ghost print. So I'm going to put this onto a solid sheet of paper, but before I do that, I'm going to coat it with another color of my golden fluid acrylic paint that is in contrast. So either lighter than or darker than this color, there needs to be contrast. So I'm gonna go for the gold with the blue. So I'm gonna put out some iridescent gold right over my ghost print. And then I'm going to take a piece of architectural floor plan recycled paper that happens to be here on my tabletop and I'm going to pull the ghost print plus the gold from these chipboard stencils. I love this Planet Earth product. I love the fact that it's earth friendly, it's biodegradable, it's recyclable, something that we all should be striving towards. And there comes the ghost print along with the gold metallic. Isn't that gorgeous? So the ghost print is released from the gel plate when you put a second layer of paint on it. Look at that. That is beautiful metallic gold with my blue mixture that was manganese and phthalo blue. So my next layer I'm going to try on the green, gold, and gold, and let's try some different Planet Earth stencils. We'll try this wiggly water one. Now these are all designed by me. There is a full line, of course, of stencils designed by other people, but why in the world would you want anything that wasn't designed by yours truly? <laughs> and we can go back and overlap these stencils again with the print a second time. I love those little polka dots. Making sure those show up. There, and now I've got some great combination of patterns. I love how they go over the white that is between these two colors and also off the white edges. Those came out really nice and a beautiful combination of colors as well. So again, I'm gonna pull these off and look at how gorgeous they are becoming for collage material. This one is going to be especially fun. Could be water, could be uh, hair, could be all kinds of different things. So I'm gonna take this metallic one, ghost print that we did, and add another layer with stencils in different places. And you can continue to add layers and layers upon layers. So using the same stencils or different ones, just in a different arrangement. So let's go over this with the turquoise. 
because turquoise teal I'm sorry teal teal is opaque so it's um, really pretty opaque and it will go over this sheet and will mask out okay so that's what we're gonna do we're going to put a little teal on there arrange the stencils in a different way and then print over this print when I make collage papers I do a lot of layering well speaking of leaves since it's Earth Day let's add in a little real life leaves so we'll add those leaves and this leaf more masking tools and we're going to go over this sheet so because it has the same stencil there i'm going to make sure i put this on this side because i want them to definitely not line up although that would probably be impossible i hope that you will experiment with the chipboard stencils with leaves from your yard with stencils that maybe you already have in your stash for more information on the chipboard stencils please visit rubbermoon.com and for a listing of my favorite art supply products, please visit my Amazon art page and I will put the link below for you. I've compiled all of my favorite paints, brushes, cleaners, etc. for you there. Look at this. This is going to be beautiful. There we go. So now we've got multi layers upon layers upon layers of different stencils in different spaces. Plus we've got a um, ghost print as our base print and that is starting to look really cool. You could do another layer or we could call it good. And for collage paper purposes, we've got different things going on in all different areas on this piece. So I'm gonna pull this ghost print and then look at that. I love the way that leaf is intersecting here. I love the way I've now got purple collage material. And we are gonna put, what color? How about this bronze? That would probably be beautiful. Put a little bronze. Look at that. So there you have it. Happy Earth Day. I hope that this has been inspiring for you and I hope that you might check out rubbermoon.com for these new planet earth chipboard stencils as well as check out gel press for more tutorials on how to use your gel plate. Awesome.